Now to an outage affecting phone service across the country. AT&T and Verizon customers were affected, not able to make calls. It's not the first time the major outage that we've seen this year. Lina Moise has the story. This morning, AT&T says service is back up and running after an issue left millions of customers unable to make calls to other networks. The company saying, we collaborated with the other carrier to find a solution and appreciate our customers' patience during this period. Customers in 24 states, from Washington to Florida, were affected. Self-reported outages showed New York, Chicago, Philadelphia, Dallas, Pittsburgh, and Indianapolis among cities with the most reported issues. Verizon also also monitoring the situation, saying some customers, primarily in the Northeast and Midwest, are experiencing issues when calling or texting with customers served by another carrier. AT&T insists calls to 911 were not impacted, but customers were quick to react on social media, saying, can't wait to get $5 back on my $300 bill, referring to the $5 credit AT&T gave customers after another outage back in February. That time, 911 emergency services in several states were affected and customers lost service for hours. AT&T blamed that outage on a technical error while it was expanding its network. The company is also investigating a data breach from March, where the personal data of some 70 million current and former customers was leaked on the dark web. As for this most recent outage, AT&T says calls between its own customers were not affected. No word overnight on the cause. The FCC is investigating both outages. Lionel Moyes, ABC News, New York.